<laughs> okay, so... Um, and here we go. Um, this will be the start. Let's see who's first for the ball. And it's a um, Swedish player from Ponies. And first on the ball, we have a little cluster in the middle uh, till it's decided who gets through. And it's Bamberg trying to break through very well to late around the police and players. And uh, it's like basketball. Uh, Bamberg is playing here. It's like chick, 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 chick. And the ball is in, but they lost it against Polizen. Now Polizen tries to break three um, in the middle. And they do it quite well. Chop, here we are at the Bamberg basket. And that's the first attack of uh, Polizen on the basket of Bamberg. And I think Bamberg has to put in their uh, warm coats now because uh, Polizen seems in for the kill. And they're really putting hard pressure here. And Bamberg is not yet awake, so the ball is free a lot of times. And uh, there was a good chance and a good play from Polis. And let's see how they can hold up this uh, with the rest of these uh, 10 minutes in the first half. We're in the middle now of the pool. And uh, Bamberg lost the ball uh, in the half, which is uh, quite a little bit surprising, I have to say, uh, because uh, Polis is again waiting under the basket of Bamberg. And Bamberg. Uh, um, it, it, it's, it's interesting. They're, they're not awake yet. No, they're also. not awake because normally you cannot go through their half without like losing this, the ball. Like this, yeah. missing the, the pass like that. I, I believe... Um, That's a good chance for Paulison to go into for the kill and to uh, to score uh, into this minutes uh, in the first seconds before Bamberg is awake. And there's a call from the referee free throw against Paulison. Yeah, I didn't see what happened. But... Uh, I had several, yeah, several times in my uh, experience as a player that game that you knew that you were supposed to win and then you were not really uh, in um, the game models and then you yeah. it's, were it's not performing. It's a brain so thing. You have to be in the water with your mind. You have to be focused. Yeah. If, if one person is not completely there and then then it's okay. But then if more and completely there, and sometimes you have these games and, and no, most of the time it is the first game. So it's another call from uh, the referee. I think the free throw wasn't executed right. Free throw against police and repeat. I didn't see exactly what happened. Um, holding without ball was the first call. And there it is, executed Bumbergers in. And now it's going to be interesting how they will break through. Defense from Polizen was quite well until now. And Bumberg didn't really uh, get in touch of the basket. Now here we are, the first grip on it's the neck of the uh, Polizen uh, goalkeeper. And Polizen recovers the ball and breaks through with a counter attack. And uh, here we have the, the four checking we know from Bumberg. Normally you're Almost, it's impossible to break through the first uh, through the half, and here we are on tech, and yeah. here it is. Wow, that's a it goal. was a, a four-checking uh, snatch ball away, and the attacker broke through the defense in the middle of the pool uh, from police, and there was and no this goalkeeper. Is the yeah. No, exactly. This is what we're expecting from from them from the yeah. minute two. Okay, it, you know they needed three minutes to get there. It's, it's great. I guess <laughs> I guess uh, the the first attack from police was the best chance to score in this game. Um, but nevertheless, it was a surprising start, and Polizen uh, um, did quite well. But now we have again Bamberg in ball possession, and they're going for the Polizen for the Swedish basket. And Polizen from Sweden playing in white, Bamberg from Germany in blue. And Bamberg is building up uh, uh, the, the attack from the close, from the open side. And uh, the player from the open side goes in uh, looking for... ...did before, that's a killer, so they have been doing a good job, Polizen, but now as one against four, still managed to attack the goalie. And let's see, I cannot see because it's, oh, the, it's still underneath. And when oh, they the pass to oh. the um, other close. player on the open side, and almost, that was a very close one. Uh, they still recovered the ball. That was uh, looked like a fall. I mean, it was hanging on the head of the uh, Bamberg player. Now they're in the surface. We cannot have a very good um, angle from here. What really surprises me, Lorena, um, Polizen. Tell me. Yeah, I have to tell you <laughs> because uh, <laughs> Polizen really finds a way to interrupt the game of Bamberg. Yeah, but still, Bamberg is now has a little more ball control than Polizen and then in the first two, three minutes. I mean, right now, I think they woke up. Probably they thought they underestimate sometimes if you think your opponent is going to be a little bit um, 
you know, more manageable and then you find out more resistant, then sometimes that can bring uh, out of the concentration of a team. And, and then we you have, have to focus yeah. on We have an attack from above from Bamberg now, but they are stopped by police again. Maybe police likes the smaller pool more than the big one in Krefeld. They play the EuroLeague. Um, Oh, this is a dangerous situation. Uh, the ball was passed back by a Polizen player and there was no defender. But uh, Polizen makes it quite in time to go into uh, the, the attack of Bamberg. And this is uh, quite interesting. Now I have Torsten Sanchez with me. Lorena is leaving me and I'm going to marry Torsten Sanchez. <laughs> and be in love with him for the rest of my life. Welcome, thank Torsten. You, thank you, thank you. Nice you're to welcome. be here. So what do you say, Torsten? It's quite, uh, um, um, quite a good plane from Polish. Yeah, yeah, I have. I br <laughs> Hello, world. <laughs> nice to you. Uh, I, brought you, I bring you some news, because um, maybe you don't know that Bamberg is only playing with 11 players currently. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a car in traffic jam, so there's uh, almost, I think, three national players are still on the way here. They have not arrived yet. Well, that could be a reason. What is, what is sad, uh, Hannes Hoffmann, uh, Andy Weisenberger, who is a very hard forwarder, yeah. So um, this is at least the reason that so they had to re reorganize yeah. the yeah. team. They need to prepare. They didn't know to the last minute if they will arrive or not. So uh, they're just playing with, with 11 players. Of course, they, they had to put some players in. They have not expected it before. And that's maybe the reason that, yeah. that policing could come Especially so for a team the game. So, so known to each other. They are so much known to each other yeah. and losing their, their main part of, of the attack. But now we see policing really into attacking mode again. And this is uh, the, the, the end of the first half. Yeah. So policing really has a chance here if these three players missing from Bamberg uh, don't make it in time. Interesting game from Polizen and... Uh, um, they do quite a good job here, yeah. but Bamberg is uh, in in the better ball position and they dominate the game. But nevertheless, the breaking throughs of, of Polisen are dangerous. It was quite nice when you, for example, compare the game for Polisen. Uh, I've checked the team list because this is the, exactly the same team played in the EuroLeague mm. uh, in Krefeld at the beginning of November, and then they were, had a lot of struggle with their with the defense. They received five goals by Krefeld and another yeah. uh, goals by other teams, and it was also. The, the benefit of Germany, Lukas Tarda made the goal, uh, the 1-0 the lead, and he just used the chance by grabbing the ball and the forechecking and making directly the counter-attack and had this open space because the goalkeeper was not in the place and could throw it in. Could it be that Polizen likes the smaller pool here because Krefeld is much more bigger? We have here 12 Point five meters. I think Krefeld was 20 meters. Yeah, it was 20 meters. But I think this is this should be more. I, I was thinking about it. The, the longer pool, because it seems like they're the pullers and players are very agile, so they're very yep. fast swimming. Yep. They're yep. they they like to be. They, they seem to be a form of fin swimmers or swimmers at least. So this is at le isn't this a benefit than having a big pool than a smaller? I think this is more the benefit for Bamberg here because they're be, playing yes. only with yes. 11 players and still beating Polizen. Yeah. So we have the end here of the first half Bamberg against Polizen. Bamberg from Germany in blue against Polizen in white from Sweden. And it's the um, third, fourth game of the day, third game of the day. And uh, I have Torsten Sanchez with me. Torsten Sanchez is uh, the coach of the U21 team uh, mm -hmm. in Germany. Yeah. Male team, yeah. Male team. And uh, together with uh, Lorena, uh, Julia Braunek uh, and him, uh, I did yesterday the, the first uh, underwater rugby uh, uh, academy. Academy, yeah. Oh, I thought the, the first half is over. Yeah, no, it's over. It was a three throw by the time. time ah, through. okay. Yeah. Okay, so yes, um, and we are here doing the commentaries here for you and to, uh, Champions Cup 2017 uh, <laughs> in Berlin. It's the 29th uh, Champions Cup and we are really proud to present it to you uh, because it's the biggest uh, tournament in on the water rugby yeah. in the world. We have 14 nations here, 23 teams, 14, uh, from, uh, 14 male teams and 9 women teams. The difference to last year is only uh, the Italian team is missing. So, um, female Torsten, team, uh, the team. female team, yeah, Italian yeah. female team is missing. So, Torsten, three Bamberg players are uh, missing. Uh, no, they're coming. No, here we see. It's Andy. <laughs> so, Andy's one of the Bamberg in. players <laughs> just ran through oh, behind us. Oh, make it to the halftime. They have to change. Shit, he's running through the, the female changing room. <laughs> oh, crazy. It's, it's the just closest going way. the closest way to the pool. So, it, that's oh. really hard if you uh, oh, yeah. are standing uh, in... Uh, There's the other one. Fight is coming here. Fight Hoffman is also... Yeah. 
And Sebastian Lange also arriving here right now. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's a second. <laughs> here they are. Maybe we're having a big game changer. At least the rules allow the players to change. Right in our back. Change three players. Right in our back, you see the Bamberg yeah. players running in. Three <laughs> players are getting in. Um, interesting to see if they can make it in time in yeah. the water and if it changes the game. Because Bamberg really was not into it. And uh, Polizen really had a chance to interrupt the game of the Bamberger yeah. players. Yeah. And that was interesting to see because I would have uh, said in the beginning... Bamberg would dominate that game in the half of Polisen, but it wasn't the case, and yep. Polisen had two big chances to score. And one directly from the very beginning yep. when they came through, this was what they expected at the beginnings, like they're coming hard, so there's an, another player, but she's playing for Germany, Steffi, uh, so the, the German ladies, they have still a bit of time, maybe she was sharing the car. <laughs> it's so crazy. You know, the funny fact is, the funny fact that Bamberg is playing here since, what is it, the, this is the 11 years in, in a row? So they should know the way here by heart. They should know how to come and arrive in the quickest way. And that they make it so, so close just to arrive here. All the teams that arrived even yesterday, and they're doing it early enough for the second half of the game. <laughs> so I just got a message from uh, Lars Bigström from Tuserne. Uh, he wrote us the, um, the audio is not working. Hello, Lars. Uh, uh, hello, hello to Denmark. Yeah. Hope you're fine and thanks for uh, telling us we're looking good because uh, that's always important, isn't it? However not. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we're waiting for the begin. It's uh, 12 seconds left for the second, second half. Point. Bamberg against police and Bamberg in blue. Bamberg Germany in blue against police and in the white uh, from Sweden. And uh, police and did quite a good job. And uh, it don't see it impossible. They score in the second half. And uh, like Tossin Sancho is commentating here with me already told us, uh, three Bamberg main key players are missing in this game because they were stuck in traffic. But they, we saw them running into the pool area and uh, maybe they can make it in time to uh, join the game. So here we are back again in the game, Polisen against Bamberg. And Polisen is in ball possession. Uh, but uh, Bamberg players snatched away the wall and Polisen is on the right side. And uh, Bamberg is trying to build uh, their attack, but they seem a little bit deranged. Uh, they seem mm. not in their game because they're missing three players. So let's see if they can make it in time. I think it's different when you when you had a lot of training camps in advance, and I talked also with with Lucas about their 15 15 uh, people squad, and they they thought about the, the 15 person who could it be and. And of course, they, they are focusing the top 12, and of course, you need some, some substitutes, substitute players uh, who are on the same level than all the others. But at least, if you, if you know right now, there are three players, key players are missing. So they started with the unexpected subsidiary players, maybe even then to change in the position. And that's uh, hard, that's we always we, hard. We're missing a, a forward, we're missing a, a goalkeeper, and we missed uh, with five, maybe it's an, I don't know, defender or forward or two. So then you need maybe to mix up even the position you have within your team. So that, uh, but, but we have to say every other team probably would be destroyed with, uh, with people not able to play other positions. But yeah. Bamberg, I think every player is uh, able to play every position. So they are a team who can compensate. Um, but nevertheless, Polizen has a little advantage here. Uh, let's say there are three Bamberg players, uh, uh, or there is one Bamberg player on the penalty uh, sitting, so outside. So Bamberg is really yes. handicapped here a little bit in their play, but they are uh, leading 1-0. And it's a, quite a little bit of a cold start for them uh, into the Champions Cup. And they think, and we talked about it, Tossin, right. they have high hopes uh, for this Champions Cup. And uh, I think this time they want to show the world oh, they are the best team in the Lucas world. There's a good chance for Lucas Coming from the coming close, from the, from the open is it side. No, it's not. They're climbing the ball. But yeah. the defense is quite yeah. good from Polisen to stop an attack from Lucas Tata on the open side, on the back of the goalkeeper. And he couldn't push this last yeah. inch yeah. into yeah. the basket. It was very close, yeah. yeah. He very already pulled the, the goalkeeper away and it was really the last centimeter that the defender could grab the ball or was it the forward? And normally that's, that's a point where you don't yeah. stop an attack from no, someone no, like no, Luis no. Tata. So well done by police. And we have a call really? from the referees. It seems to be the deck referee. We don't have a picture yet from the deck referee. Uh, we don't see what's happening. Here we go. So it seems to be... And uh, we see now on the back side that the, the, the uh, Bamberg bench is now completed. So we can see on the left yeah, side it's Andy Weissenberger. So he has joined the team. So, so it's going to be a team ball. It's going to be yeah. a, a referee ball. Yeah. Uh, but now you see the Bamberg team is complete right now. So they have one more player and a, even a quite, quite uh, important one. So um, now it's, it will, we can see if Pulisic really can come back in the game. They have a 1-0 lead from Bamberg. 
And now, of course, they try to protect this lead, no, no, not going too much risk here to make it to the final games, because at least they just need to win this game to become first in the group. Uh, to make it at least to the semi-finals, yeah. I'm interested to see if uh, Bama can readjust now to with these new three players if they are going their usual mode. We have here another attack from the open side on the basket of Felizen, but Felizen does quite, 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 quite a good job Very good, to yeah. fend them off. Uh, if you ever had uh, an attack from Bamberg like this and they go in heavy in, in different waves and uh, Polizen even managed to break through and are now in the middle of the half of uh, uh, the pool but they are stopped by heavy for checking but now one of the Polizen player breaks through to the basket of Bamberg and uh, the defender has to go really fast down mm. to stop this attack and uh, two Polizen players are left and right at the basket now uh, from Bamberg and there is one attack on the closed side to the goalkeeper and this is a uh, quite a dangerous situation because yeah. uh, Bamberg doesn't seem to have the ball and the attack under control. But now you can see Andy Weisenberger here with the yellow snorkel uh, helping the forward and now he's, he's already having the ball and you see what this is why he is so important for the team he's really he's really good in, in, in getting the ball and bringing out of the own half of the game and you see this is a, this is one of the game changers we're having right now. It's not so much pressure at directly at the goal of, of Bamberg. It's m more controlled game style, and uh, even now they're they're more willing and more organized in their team attacks. As you see here, the second one, it's again it's an attack on the open side yeah, on the goalkeeper. Again, Lucas Tutter, yeah, from the open side trying to score. But again, he didn't again, and that's ah, that's uh, it's it's quite interesting to see uh, how police and manage to to interrupt these attacks. But you see, it looks like uh, like a like a common goaling attack of Bamberg, and if you train this in your camps with yeah. with a number of players, and now these players are missing, yeah. you know, other players are bringing you the ball, and maybe this is you see again, it's Andy Weisenberg on the surface. Uh, getting the ball is really good in, in, in forechecking. I awesome. guess the thing is when you play with uh, three less than three, three key players and yeah. you adjust and then they come back and you have to readjust yeah. within the game, that's yeah. quite difficult. It's also difficult. You mentally. don't have a break yeah. to tell your team that these players exactly. are inside now yeah. and that you're changing them. It's something that happens beside, outside of the pool and you just see, see and recognize them in the water maybe. I don't know, because you don't have really the, 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 the chance for big breaks during the game. Maybe they're taking the time out soon, Bamberg, and bringing the other players in. Yeah. Maybe it will be a kind of treatment by the coach. I, I don't think that the coach is very satisfied with the situation that the, that the Bamberg plays for this important game. I think this is the most important game of the group yeah. for Bamberg. And, yeah. and, and the, the, the players have to be controlled by the referee, so um, maybe they, they don't let them uh, into the game. There's yet. a good chance. Here it's, we go. It's, and again, again the same situation, the, the Maybe, goalkeeper is very good on the basket yeah, and before the ball could be uh, pushed mm -hmm. into uh, behind the back into the basket, a police and defender grabs it away and, and snatches it away and, and uh, Bamberg doesn't succeed in finishing these yeah. attacks. Oh. And again another attack from the close side and again police and does a very good job with, uh, it looks like all the players are down mm -hmm. defending uh, and they do a quite job not only stopping the attack but getting the ball, snatching the ball away from Bamberg and counter-attack. We are over the half of Bamberg and it was a very nice ball play and here we are in the half of Bamberg in front of the Bamberg uh, basket. Yeah, with four uh, players, Polisson is attacking. Here's the best chance so far for Polisson. From the open this side of really the basket. Yeah, and it was uh, equal to the attack Bamberg yeah, had yeah, uh, seconds yeah. ago. Uh, so well done by, by Polisson to to use their this chance. This was a big luck, they just didn't get in. Yeah. Four players at the same time attacking here at the Bamberg three minutes bef before the end of the game. It was very exciting. Are I know you see here Andy Weisenberg yeah, attacking. That was should be decided uh, as, ah, a, as a, a goal. To there were two Bamberg players and with, with only the goalkeeper from Polisen and uh, the Polisen uh, defenders were behind the Bamberg attackers and we see a score here yeah. that was not surprising and it's a 2-0 but nevertheless yeah. uh, the, the scoring we see here after uh, at least uh, 17 minutes uh, with a 2-0 bummer against Polisen is surprising and it's a very well done job uh, from Polisen from Sweden to use uh, the weakness of three missing players in Bamberg for their advantage. It was very nice. This is what you can see. They put a lot of risk with the four players trying to score and they yep. missed their chance and it comes directly on the other side, the attack by, made by the uh, Bamberg team. And this is what, what, what you uh, described correctly, that the team is swimming behind the Bamberg players who are starting the fast break. Yeah, that's something something you need to do here to score. 
at least. You know, it's just two it, minutes left. It's, I think this game is now over. Yeah, but but still, uh, the way Polisen plays, they can score. Yeah. They have a chance uh, to score in this game, and it would be earned because they did a very good job yeah. uh, actually defending their own basket, breaking free and attacking the Bamberg basket, yeah. not losing a sweat there and going in with everything they had. Um, they didn't uh, uh, finish the, the game like Bamberg did yeah. on the Polisen basket, but nevertheless, they made it that far and they attacked really hard and Bamberg was under pressure. Yeah. And you don't see that very often uh, in the game of Bamberg because they're forechecking normally is uh, undestructible. So very well done job here from Polisen. And it's a good game and it's a fair game. And uh, right here yeah. in this combination, we see two equal teams in no. the water. I was much, I was more equal in the in the, in the first, in first half. half. Definitely, True. definitely. You see now are different in the game. You see here Hannes Treiber really just easily protecting the ball. You see here Andy Weisenberger. Um, and you see, even you see Bamberg is not stopping, just controlling the ball. They're still interesting in, in scoring. You can see Luka Tatar again uh, in his position. Yeah, that's what it is. But now I think the game is over. It's one minute left. It was a good, there was a big chance for Polisson. They had two really good yep. uh, chances to score. It could have been a 2-2. Yeah, yeah. Bamberg, Bamberg started with a, with a uh, weak squad. They had the, the, the disadvantage of the missing players. Um, they arrived for the second half. No, the second half is, is a bit different, more. It's, it's quite more calm. There was one big situation, I was wondering about that, when they could come with four players at the Bamberg. Score this was where they had the best chance in the second half, Pulisic. Um But yes, no. At well the end, well, well done. Bamberg and scored two times. Pulisic made a big mistake in the first half with leaving the goalkeeper alone or leave, la leaving the goalkeeper at least. Yeah, and that will be the last attack of Bamberg yeah. on the police and basket. And I think we have a 2-0 will be the end of this uh, third game yeah. in the Champions Cup 2017 here in Berlin. And that's it. Game over. Uh, this was too late. No, yeah, it was already point. finished and we yeah. have a 2-0 Polisen against uh, Bamberg. And uh, Polisen can be quite confident uh, going into the next game because they succeeded in uh, uh, fending off the Bamberg yeah. attack.